six questions were given from the topic hyperbola in the jee main january 2024 session the first three questions we have already discussed in an earlier video now we discuss the next three questions question number 4 to 6 in this video this question has appeared in the jee main examination held on 31st january 2024 in the first shift the given question is if the foci of a hyperbola are same as that of the ellipse x square by 9 plus y square by 25 is equal to 1 we are given an ellipse this is the ellipse given to us and it is given the foci of a hyperbola are the same as that of this ellipse and the eccentricity of the hyperbola is 15 by 8 times the eccentricity of the ellipse it is further given the eccentricity of the hyperbola is 15 by 8 times the eccentricity of this ellipse then the smaller focal distance of the point with coordinates root 2 comma 14 by 3 multiplied by under the square root of 2 by 5 on the hyperbola is equal to we are given four options right we are given a point this point on the hyperbola and required to find the smaller focal distance of this point let's now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have the ellipse e given by x square by 9 plus y square by 25 is equal to 1 here if you take this as x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 then a is equal to 3 b is equal to 5 and b greater than a this is what you have to note down this is very important so that means uh, its major axis is along the y axis how this will look like so this is the one so the major axis is along the y axis and b greater than a right and uh, the eccentricity of the ellipse is equal to under the square root of 1 minus a square by b square this formula is because b greater than a right and that is equal to under the square root of 1 minus 3 square by 5 square when simplified you will get 4 by 5 agreed agreed so the foci of the ellipse e will be by formula because b greater than a it is the foci are given by 0 comma plus or minus b times the f the eccentricity of the ellipse and that is equal to 0 comma plus or minus b is 5 multiplied by the eccentricity is 4 by 5 that is equal to 0 plus or minus 4 that means uh, one we call it as f1 the focus 0 comma 4 the other focus f2 we call it that is 0 comma minus 4 let's look at the diagram yeah this is your focus f104 this is the second focus f20 comma minus 4 right given eh where h denotes the hyperbola eh is 15 by 8 times of the eccentricity of the ellipse that is equal 15 by 8 times of eccentricity of the ellipse is 4 by 5 so when you multiply you will get 3 by 2 yes greater than 1 is a hyperbola it's wonderful right now given 
you are also given the foci of the hyperbola and the foci of the ellipse they are one and the same so that means uh, foci of the hyperbola h is equal to the foci of e that is 0 plus or minus 4 that is once again the same focus fo foci will get f104 f204 now now look at uh, so so how the hyperbola will be let the hyperbola be h is h denoted denoted by h is given by x square by capital a square minus y square by capital b square is equal to minus 1 because of this focus are like this the yearly hyperbola should should be like this and it is this one right this is the same ellipse the hyperbola same focus same focus right now the foci of h is same as the foci of e that is that is 0 comma plus or minus 4 the foci of h are given by 0 comma plus or minus b times e power h because of this because of this because of this b b times e power h and remember the hyperbola what we have is x square by capital a square minus y square by capital b square is called minus 1 minus 1 so this will be 0 plus or minus b e e h that is eccentricity of the hyperbola is equal to 0 comma plus or minus 4 that means uh, b into eccentricity of the hyperbola is equal to 4 so and uh, eh we know 3 by 2 so substitute here b capital b you will get 4 into 2 by 3 yes that is equal to 8 by 3 so the b we got and we will try to get capital a also thereby the hyper the hyperbola the entire hyper the com complete hyperbola will be known to us then we will answer the question right we have the eccentricity of the hyperbola capital b and h is x square by capital a square minus y square by capital b square is equal to minus 1 this is the hyperbola here agreed agreed now the the square of the eccentricity of the hyperbola is equal to 1 plus a square by b square why it is so for x square by capital a square minus y square by capital b square is equal to minus 1 for that the eccentricity square is given by this and from this a square is equal to b square times eccentricity square minus 1 in brackets right b we know eh we know therefore a square will be obtained that will be b is 8 by 3 whole square into eh square is 3 by 2 whole square minus 1 that's equal to 64 by 9 multiplied by 9 by 4 minus 1 simplify 80 by 9 so a square is known therefore the hyperbola is completely known to us that is h x square by 80 by 9 minus y square by 64 by 9 is equal to minus 1 agreed what is that uh, what is that given to us a point p whose coordinates are square root of 2 comma 14 by 3 under the square root of 2 by 5 is a point on the hyperbola so and uh, remember notice that this point is a point in the first quadrant right so is the point point on the hyperbola in the first quadrant first quadrant agreed to find the smaller focal distance so the smaller focal distance of the point p that means the distance p to f1 p to f2 if you take the smaller one will be p to f1 so that will be equal to the smaller focal distance of the point p is the minimum of the distance between p to f1 comma the distance between p to f2 and you know p to f1 is the minimum so this is equal to p to f1 why because 
P because P is in the first quadrant and F1 uh, is having coordinate 0 comma 4, F2 is having 0 comma minus 4. So obviously P will be very far off from F2 than F1. So F1 will be nearer to P. So that is why P of P F1. We continue in the next slide. Right, that's what we have done so far. So P of F1, how to find? And one will say, sir, the coordinates of F1 are known, the coordinates of P are known. P F1, use the distance formula under the square root of uh, root 2 minus 0 whole square plus 14 by 3 under the square root of 2 by 5 minus 4 whole square. Then you will get a third. Then take the square root. Then you will get the answer. Correct. But that will be tedious. And in fact it takes long time. So for that what I will now I will measure P F1 by the very definition of the hyperbola. So it is the locus of a point P such that the distance from P to the focus and the distance between P on the directrix, perpendicular distance on the directrix and that will be the eccentricity of the hyperbola. That means P F1 by P N P N is equal to E, E of H, E H. Uh, what is P N? P N is a perpendicular drawn on the directrix of the hyperbola. So this is equal to the directrix of this hyperbola we require and that is given by because of this plus or minus b by e h that is equal to plus or minus b is 8 by 3 by 3 by 2 that is equal to plus or minus 16 by 9. So this is the one directrix y is equal to 16 by 9. The other is y is equal to minus 16 by 9. So what do you do? What do you do? Pn, you drop a perpendicular from P to on this directrix. That is Pn. So is equal to Eh into Pn, where Pn is perpendicular distance of P on the corresponding directrix. The corresponding directrix is y is equal to 16 by 9. So this is the one. Right, Pn. So Pn you can very easily find. No, P, you know the coordinates of P and uh, the directrix equation is known, perpendicular distance formula we, we will use and that is equal to EH, EH is 3 by 2 into mod of Y minus 16 by 9, Y minus 16 by 9, the, for Y we substitute the Y coordinates of P, 14 by 3 under the square root of 2 by 5 minus 16 by 9 by under the square root of 0 square this because there is no coffee there is no x term in this this 0 square plus 1 square and that is equal to that is equal to we send 3 by 2 inside 3 by 2 into 14 by 3 is 7 times square root of 2 by 5 minus 3 by 2 into 16 by 9 is 8 by 3 and uh, you can you can you can see that uh, the 7 times under the square root of 2 by 5 is bigger than greater than 8 by 3 therefore this is positive therefore no modulus will be taken so 7 times under the square root of 2 by 5 minus 8 by 3 so let's look at our options our answer 7 times under the square root of 2 by 5 minus 8 by 3 appears again as option 1 Therefore, the answer to this question is option 1 and that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the given problem and in my opinion that this problem is definitely difficult problem and in the examination and doing it is very difficult. This is my opinion. Right. But however, once in a while such questions do come. Right. So let's now move on to the next question. This question has appeared in the JE main 
exam held on 31st January 2024 in the first session. The given question is let the foci and the length of the lattice rectum of an ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 when a greater than b b plus r minus 5 comma 0 ordered pair and under the square root of 50 respectively. The foci of this ellipse is given to be plus r minus 5 comma 0. The length of the lattice rectum of this ellipse is given to be under the square root of 50. Right. Then the square of the eccentricity of this hyperbola or uh, of another hyperbola that is x square by b square minus y square by a square b square is equal to 1. Required to find the square of the eccentricity of another given hyperbola x square by b square minus y square by a square b square is equal to 1 from the given data above regarding the foci and length of the lattice rectum of the given ellipse. Yeah, that is the data which you have to use to find out the square of the eccentricity of this hyperbola. Agreed. 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 We have an ellipse E. x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 a greater than b. And the hyperbola h is x square by b square minus y square by a square b square is equal to 1. Now to find E h square, E h square means the square of the eccentricity of the hyperbola. And for this hyperbola x square by b square minus y square by a square b square is equal to 1, 1 minus y square by a square b square. So the square of the eccentricity of the hyperbola is 1 plus a square b square by b square. You have to remember the formula and that is 1 plus a square. So to answer this question we have to find the value of a from the given data of the ellipse. Right. Given the foci of the ellipse is equal to plus r minus 5 comma 0. This implies the foci of e when a greater than or equal to b is plus r minus a e comma 0 is equal to plus r minus 5 comma 0 that is a e is 5. Let us call this as the equation 1. Given the length of the lattice rectum of e is under the square root of 50 when a greater than b the length of the lattice rectum is 2b square by a is equal to under the square root of 50 that is 5 root 2. Agreed. Agreed. And we have the square of the eccentricity of the ellipse is equal to 1 minus b square by a square, a greater than b. From this you will get b square is equal to a square times 1 minus e square. Multiply both sides by 2 and divide by a. Then you will get 2b square by a is equal to 2a into 1 minus e square. Agreed. 2, 2 cancels. Uh, 2, 2 b square by a. 2 b square by a is 5 root 2. Substitute. So that is equal to 5 root 2 into 2 into a. From the equation 1, a is 5 by a, 5 by the eccentricity. 5 by the eccentricity. So 2 into a pi by the eccentricity into 1 minus e square. Right, right. Agreed. Agreed. 5, 5 cancels and you cancel root 2, root 2 times, root 2 times. Then send the eccentricity to the other side. Then you get e is equal to root 2 times 1 minus square of the eccentricity. That is equal to eccentricity e is equal to root 2 minus root 2 times e square. Now reorder the terms and write it as a quadratic equation. Then we will get root 2 e square plus e minus root 2. Factorization is very simple. 
root 2 e minus 1 multiplied by e plus root 2. From this we will get the eccentricity of the ellipse is 1 by root 2 and uh, eccentricity of the ellipse is equal to minus root 2 is rejected because the eccentricity cannot be negative. So we take this, we take this and look at 1 and from 1 you can find the value of a because the eccentricity e, e is known to us. So we have from 1 a is equal to 5 by the eccentricity of the ellipse and the eccentricity of the ellipse is 1 by root 2 that is 5 root. So the, the question is over now. So let us call back our hyperbola h is x square by b square minus y square by a square b square is equal to 1. Agree? And uh, the square of the eccentricity of the hyperbola is equal to 1 plus a square b square because of this minus a square b square by b square that is equal to 1 plus a square which we have already seen the value of a we substituted then we get 1 plus 5 root 2 whole square is equal to 51 right so that is the square of the eccentricity of the hyperbola the answer to this question is 51 that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the given problem it is definitely an easy question. I am sure that you have understood the solution, solution of this question. Let us move to the next question and this is the last question in this video. This question has appeared in the JEA main exam held on 1st February 2024 in the first shift. For 0 less than theta less than pi by 2, you have to remember this, this is a very important you know, condition given here. If the eccentricity of the hyperbola, this is the hyperbola, x square minus y square into cosecant square theta is equal to 5 is root 7 times the eccentricity of the ellipse x square cosecant square theta plus y square is equal to 5. Then the value of theta is, we are given 4 options. So we are given 0 less than theta less than pi by 2 the eccentricity of this ellipse is given to be root 7 times the eccentricity of this ellipse then required to find the value of theta when theta lies between 0 to 0 to pi by 2. Let us now discuss the solution of this problem in detail. Given theta lies between 0 to pi by 2 theta belongs to the open interval 0 to pi by 2. We have the given hyperbola given by h given by x square minus y square cosecant square theta is equal to 5. Divide throughout by 5. Write for cosecant square theta 1 by sin square theta. Then you will get x square by 5 minus y square by 5 sin square theta is equal to 1. Agreed. This is of the form x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. Right. E h square, that is the square of the eccentricity of the hyperbola is equal to 1 plus 5 sin square theta because of this minus by 5. 5 5 cancels, this will be 1 plus sin square theta. Agreed. Let us take the given ellipse E given by x square cosecant square theta plus y square is equal to 5, divide throughout by y and write for cosecant square theta 1 by sin square theta. Then you will get x square by 5 sin square theta plus y square by 5 is equal to 1. Is equal to 1. Right. Now, remember now, 0 less, theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2 open interval, sin theta will be less than 1. So, so x square by a square plus y square by b square, then a will be less than b, that is b greater than a. So, e h square will be equal to 1 minus 5 sin square theta by 5, a square by b square, correct. And 5 cancels and it all depends on this, 1 minus sin square theta, 
agreed agreed and you are given you are given the eccentricity of the hyperbola is root 7 times root root of 7 times the eccentricity of the ellipse squaring on both sides e h square is equal to 7 times e e square e h square is 1 plus sin square theta is equal to 7 times e e square is 1 minus sin square theta now simplify you will get 8 sin square theta is equal to 6 this will imply sin theta is equal to plus or minus root root of under the square root of 3 by 2 And this will imply sine theta is equal to root three by two. We have rejected sine theta is equal to minus root three by two because theta belongs to zero to pi by two. When theta belongs to zero to pi by two, sine theta value is positive. It cannot be negative, right? And uh, sine theta is equal to root three by two. When theta lies between zero to pi by two, theta will be pi by three. Theta is pi by three, and we have to find out. Uh, find out uh, find out uh, when the eccentricity of this hyperbola is root is root 7 times the eccentricity of this ellipse required to find the value of theta therefore theta value is pi by 3 let's look at our options and our answer pi by 3 appears second step option 3 therefore the answer to this question is option 3 that is the detailed solution of this problem it is definitely an easy question and uh, in this video we have discussed uh, the question number 4 to 6 4 5 6 and uh, the we discussed their solutions in detail and uh, these questions these three questions are from hyperbola from the coordinate geometry which have appeared in the je main january 2024 session i am sure that you have understood these solutions of these three questions and i wish you all the best thank you